everybody watch the pixels blend. The next functionality that we are looking into is the image to image. And uh, for this, the first workflow for it is the SDXL workflow. By opening it, you should see this. Uh, if there is no image uh, in the in load image input, then you can just drop the provided example from here by um, dragging and dropping it onto this node. And if it's set up like this, you just hit generate and see what this does. As you can see, basically the prompt is set to do an oil painting from this interior photo. And if you have a look here, this looks like an oil painting to me. The crucial value uh, in this workflow is the denoise value. This defines how much percent of your input image will be changed. If you set this to a higher value, for example like 1, this means 100% of the image will be changed. Just try this. But you will recognize that not much from the input image is being recognized in the final output here. And if you set this to a very low value, then you will probably see not so much difference to what you put in here. GPU. As in this case, only 12% of the input image was changed. So we open the next one. Um, in this case, uh, just the image to image flux workflow, as you can see here, basically the very same. Put in the asset that I provided and just hit generate to see what this does. In this case, uh, I want from an oil painting, um, I want a photo. And again, the crucial value for it is the denoise here. And as you can see, this um, does flux by default very well. Maybe in this case, it's a little bit too much change. Um, just reduce this value a little bit, for example, like .47. So 47% of the input image will be changed into what I prompted it. And the very last workflow, um, basically the very same, just uh, in this case we are using the K sampler from the workflows before. And again, it's the same like every workflow provide the asset and hit generate to see what this does Render frames now. and then experiment with what you wanted to try. Render frames now. Render frames now. Going. Design I provided frame. this workflow because um, some custom nodes do use the K sampler, some do use the custom advanced sampler. There are even a custom sampler that can be used inside Conf UI. And uh, just to help you uh, getting started with all the functionality, it's best to provide uh, different examples for it. So you will find something of use to you, hopefully. From this functionality alone, you are ready to do something like you see here, where a basic rendering already gets enhanced. It adds more realism in it. And for example, look at the plants or the people. This is an example made by Omar Yassar. Thank you for that. And you can, of course, also do something like you see here. Design dreams and visions clear.